How did the Brachiosaur survive being swallowed whole by the Tyrannosaurus? Let's find out. Hello all, I'm Josh, is it Josh? Build stuff, but today you can call me Jurassic Josh, because today we're talking about some all new LEGO Jurassic Park sets, about which I am very excited. But first, thank you so much to LEGO for providing these sets to me by putting them on store shelves and allowing me to purchase them with the money that I earned at my grown-up job. Today we're talking about three out of five of the new LEGO Jurassic Park sets that just released in June 2023. We're talking about these three only because these are the three that I thought were worth buying. We've got the Brachiosaurus Discovery, the Triceratops Research, and even a Dilophosaurus ambush. Who saw that coming? These sets were made to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the first Jurassic Park movie, and personally, I don't think LEGO makes enough Jurassic Park sets based on those original movies. I can only assume that's because LEGO hates money? Seriously, my generation has as much money as they do nostalgia for those original movies. We will buy these sets. We're going to talk about each of these sets individually, but first some commonalities between the three. The boxes for all of these sets, absolutely beautiful. Then again, so was Isla Nublar before we went there and the dinosaurs ate everybody. Also, we finally have the introduction of paper bags. Granted, they were full of large pieces of plastic, but hey, look at that, uh, conserve conservation. And each of these sets contain dinosaurs and vehicles. That's all I need for a good time. So let's talk about these sets one by one, starting with our new friend here, the Brachiosaurus. This is the Brachiosaurus Discovery Set. It contains 512 pieces and costs $80, which I know sounds like a lot, but we get this lovely, large, lumbering, leaf-eating Lego dinosaur, the Brachiosaurus. We also finally get a Lego Jurassic Park Jeep, not the Ford Explorer that everyone usually calls the Jeep, this is the actual Jurassic Park Jeep. Three minifigures and a tree, and I don't know if you watched my indoor diorama video, but if you did, you would know I'm sick of more trees. First, let's talk minifigures, and first up is John Hammond with his amber staff. Remember, John is the founder of Jurassic Park, and don't get him confused with Richard Hammond, John cloned Dino DNA, where Richard once drove a cabriolet. Next, we have Dr. Alan Grant, our primary protagonist slash paleontologist who has an excellent sense of style, if I do say so myself. As for this minifigure, he is simple, understated, and I wish his face print had an alternate where he could have sunglasses. Then, of course, we have Dr. Ellie Sattler, who has a PhD in paleobiology, but if you ask me, she looks a lot more like Phoebe from Friends. They use the same minifigure head. But also, look at that hair. My absolute favorite part about this entire Jurassic Park wave and this set is the new Brachiosaurus, and that's also the reason why I was willing to pay $80 for this set. This guy doesn't have as much mobility as I wish he had, but he still has enough to, I don't know, pose him and put him in a couple of fun environments and scenes, but overall, I love the look of him. I love the size of him. He's just big and cool looking, and I love that we now have another dinosaur to collect in the Jurassic Park dinosaur line. A lot of people, I'm sure, will accidentally refer to this guy as a Brontosaurus. It's not their fault. They're very similar looking. Here's some Brachiosaurus facts to hopefully help you out. The Brachiosaurus will have longer front legs and shorter back legs. The Brontosaurus will have the exact opposite, shorter front, longer back. Despite having one of the longest humorous bones across all history, the Brachiosaurus was surprisingly bad at telling jokes. Also because it was a dinosaur and couldn't talk. There was a good joke written on this dinosaur's neck, but it was too long to read. Here's a good one though. Brachiosaurus walks into a bar. The bartender says, are you sad? Why the long face? The Brachiosaurus says, that's not my face, that's my neck, and I can't help it, I'm a sauropod. And the final fact, a Brachiosaurus can weigh up to a remarkable 50 tons. Admit it, if one of those stepped on you, you'd be deeply impressed. This set's actually a bit of a two for one in that we get two great elements for one pretty high price, but also you can recreate two iconic scenes using the pieces in this set. One, obviously the Brachiosaurus Discovery. When we roll up in the Jeep and the Brachiosaurus is the first dinosaur we see, very impressive. The other scene is one where Alan and the kids, they feed the Brachiosaurus tree stars after the tumultuous event with the Tyrannosaurus. That one I'm less excited about mostly because it, I think most of the pieces in this set went towards this tree, which like I said before, could have done without. The scene that this set really makes me think about though is that one very sad scene in Land Before Time where Littlefoot's mom, you know, that movie was supposed to take place during the Mesozoic era, but it was more like the dramatic slash traumatic era because that, that's straight up scarred kids. Littlefoot's like, mother, please get up. And the mother's like, I'm not sure I can, Littlefoot. Rain's coming down. Terrible scene. What are they doing to us? But who even cares? Littlefoot wasn't a Brachio or a Brontosaurus. He was an Apatosaurus, so it's not even relevant to today's conversation. So let's talk about something else. 
I've wanted a LEGO Jurassic Park Jeep vehicle for as long as I can remember, and now we finally get two in the same wave, both in eight stud wide speed champions format. What more can you ask for? You may have noticed that this Jeep is very similar to the one in the Dilophosaurus Ambush set, despite a few mud details, but we'll talk more about that other Jeep a little later. As for this Jeep, it's got everything we could want. Four wheels, a fifth wheel, a decent amount of interior and exterior details, some details accentuated with some stickers, but that is a necessary evil, but overall this is all that I I could hope for in a Jurassic Park Jeep. This is the Triceratops Research Set. This set contains 281 pieces, yet costs $50. Obviously, that's too much money for what's included in this set. However, what's included in this set is one large dinosaur and one great-looking vehicle, so that is about all it takes to be worth it for me. The most exciting element of this set may just be the poop. Uh, my notes literally just say poop. I guess I couldn't just do, do my duty and come up with one good poo pun. That stinks. Really shows my level of defecation. Anyway, this set comes with another mighty Triceratops model, a great looking depiction of the Ford Explorer from the Jurassic Park movies, and a big old pile of poo. Too many figures are included with this set. First up is Dr. Ian Malcolm, the famed uh, chaotician, and uh, who who could have predicted that uh, uh, I would say nothing relevant uh, about this figure? Probably everyone, really. And then of course we have Dr. Ellie Sattler, who has a PhD in paleobiology, but if you ask me, she looks a lot more like a Phoebe. Except now, she is a lot more muddy. As for the dino herself, well, it's the same Triceratops model that we've gotten a couple of times already, but that doesn't make this set any less valuable. This Triceratops model has a decent level of articulation, as in she was able to decently articulate that she had eaten a few too many West Indian lilac berries and she was feeling a little sick, but the only way to be sure would be to check her poo. Really only the neck and legs are posable on this dinosaur, so it only has a few orientations, which makes sense because it is tri. But I think this is a nice depiction of the Triceratops, not to be confused with that phase I went through in high school where I would wear my sister Sarah's shirts, aka I would try Sarah's tops. No, this is the mighty Triceratops, the three-horned beast from the late Cretaceous period, whose name literally means three-horned face, a little on the nose, and two larger on either sides of the forehead. The last little known Triceratops fact, this dinosaur can actually get a driver's license because she is doing a great job of driving up the price of this set. Are you kidding me? One vehicle, a pile of poop, and a dinosaur for $50? And speaking of that Ford Explorer, this is an almost identical vehicle to the one that we got in the diorama earlier last year, but that doesn't make it any less great. And I guess this is a slightly lower price point to get this great looking vehicle. Though I will always point out that there's something ironic about putting a Ford Explorer on a one-way track. But like I said, this is virtually the same vehicle we got last year. It's also physically the same vehicle we got last year. Maybe a slight differentiation in color of the interior, but they got the thing reupholstered. Good for you. Personally, I really like this set. Dinosaur and high price point aside, I think this set is worth it almost for that Ford Explorer by itself. But I totally understand if some people think because of that high price and the subject matter that this is one big pile of sh. It always feels like these Jurassic Park sets are overpriced. And then we venture into the realm of the Dilophosaurus, and all of a sudden we've got a vehicle, dinosaur, and one minifigure for $20. I think this is the best valued set in this whole wave. This is the Dilophosaurus Ambush set. It contains 211 pieces and costs $20 here in the US. I think this set has a fantastic value. Albert the dinosaur is very small. Let's assume Albert is the name of the Dilophosaurus here and not a typo when trying to write the word albeit. Like I said, there's a lot here for $20. We get another Jurassic Park Jeep, a Dilophosaurus, a Nedry minifigure, and even an inconspicuous looking can of Barbasol. Let's talk about this minifigure first. Dennis Nedry is the sole IT guy on an island sized dinosaur theme park. Honestly, that's the most realistic part of the movie. IT guys are both understaffed and underpaid. Unfortunately, Nedry here is a little too eccentric. Were he a little more basic, he might have stood a better chance against that Dilophosaurus' acid. As for our included dinosaur here, the name Dilophosaurus is literally designed to make you spit as much as possible when pronouncing its name. This is sort of a tangible mnemonic device to help you remember this dinosaur's defining trait. It spits. Acid. And while Notorious B.I.G. may be notorious for spitting straight fire, this Dilophosaurus is notorious for spitting straight acid into your face. As for this LEGO version, this is not a new mold, though this is the newer Dilophosaurus mold as there was one created before this one. And while he doesn't have very much articulation, he never did have to speak very clearly to get his point across. His point was that he was going to spit acid straight into your face. 
And once again, we get a great looking depiction of the Jurassic Park Jeep here, this time muddier and with a roof on top. You may have noticed that this Jeep is very similar to the one in the Triceratops research set, and it is, despite a few mud details, but we'll talk more about that other Jeep a little earlier. Overall, I think this Jurassic Park wave is so full of heaters that these dinosaurs should start seeking shelter from the impending asteroid impacts. Seriously though, all I want in a Jurassic Park set is a cool dinosaur and a cool vehicle. A few minifigures would be the cherries on top of the West Indian lilac salad. That would be poisonous, but I, that's all I want to make a great Jurassic Park set, and that's the Jurassic Park sets that I bought from this wave. Feel free to buy the other Jurassic Park sets from this same wave if you have bad taste or are bad with money, but I think the best value you can get for your money is to buy these three sets from this wave. Also ironic that we're talking so much about waves when the dinosaurs were wiped out by asteroids, not tsunamis. So my succinct thoughts probably not expressed in such a succinct way. I think this Brachiosaurus will be worth the price of the set on his own. I think these vehicles will also be worth the price of their sets on their own. Sell the extra accessories if you really feel so inclined, but overall I think this wave for the price for what you get here, absolutely worth it. And so if you've made it to this point in the video, I owe you this much. So how did the Brachiosaurus survive being swallowed whole by the Tyrannosaurus? Well, he just kept running until he was all pooped out. Mm. Later, the Tyrannosaurus is renamed to the He Got a Saurus. I apologize for nothing. I'll see you next time.